Welcome to Ask Swagelock. I'm Craig Gifford here again with Chuck Hayes, who is Swagelock's global technical lead for clean energy. And we've been discussing the design differences between hydrogen fluid systems and oil and gas fluid systems. So today, Chuck, let's talk about line sizing a little bit. How does line sizing affect cost and design of hydrogen fluid systems? Sure, let's talk real quick about line sizing and how we calculate line sizing as okay. engineers. Uh, we do that by using uh, calculators, online calculators and so forth, to be able to figure out both our line size to control velocity and pressure drop. Um, the, the problem is, is that hydrogen is not an ideal gas. Um, ideal gases are things like nitrogen and a lot of the other gases okay. we deal with. But hydrogen is not. So hydrogen actually changes its density depending on how compressed it is right. and what the pressures are. So what that leads to is that leads to the calculators don't give you a good response. And it might overestimate pressure drop or overestimate velocities. What we find is that in order to get the right system, uh, oftentimes what designers will do is they'll go back to their old world of oil and gas. And in oil and gas, if you want to reduce uh, pressure drop or reduce velocity, you go up in size. Okay. So as designers are looking at this that have experience in oil and gas, they keep oversizing systems. Because that's what they're used to. That's what they're used to okay. doing. Yeah. Right, exactly. Um, so what happens is, let's take a perfect example. We might have a system that we, from history, we would know should be a half inch system. Um, but it, when you do the calculations, it might come up as three quarter, but you can be concerned about velocity. So then you go up to a one inch. Okay. And the difference between going between three quarter and one inch is about eight times cost when okay. you do all the components. Yeah. It makes it much more difficult to get a, a final design. Okay. So we at Swagelock have been training on this and learned. And what we've done is got all of our field engineers. And we've got a group of these throughout the world to be able to help our customers understand this better and be able to design their systems to be most appropriate for hydrogen. And we're able to help you with that in the future. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you, Chuck. Sure. And thank you for joining us at Ask Swagelock.